find the square root of 5 to find the square root by long division method for that first we should frame it in this way c that is 5 okay next now here we have 5 5 is not a square number so now we should check between which two square numbers does 5 lie and the square numbers are these that is 2 into 2 4 3 into 3 9 4 into 4 16 and so on these numbers are called square numbers here we have 5 now we should check 5 lie between which two numbers 5 lie between these two numbers so we take the smaller number that is 4 4 is 2 2 4 so 2 here 2 here 4 now you subtract so 5 minus 4 is 1 here you should add these two numbers that is 2 plus 2 4 okay now now we should write a number here when i write a number here this number will become smaller than this so in normal division we used to take decimal and put zero here but over here we should put two zeros it's a rule here we always take two zeros so decimal and take two zeros now we should write a number here condition is whatever number you write here here also you should write the same number and also when you multiply this number and this number the resulting number should be smaller or equal to this number but not larger than this number okay so let us find the number here if i take 2 i should multiply by 2 so 2 into 2 is 4 2 4 is 8 84 is close to 100 if we take 3 3 into 3 is 9 3 into 4 is 12 this is exceeding 100 so we should take 2 so 2 here 2 here 84 here now you subtract here 0 here 9 10 10 minus 4 is 6 9 minus 8 is 1 and here we should add these two numbers and write 42 plus 2 is 44 okay now we should write a number here when i write a number here this number will be will become smaller than this we already have a decimal in normal division we directly used to take one zero but here you should take two zeros okay next now we should write a number here condition is whatever number you write here here also you should write the same number and also when you multiply this number and this number then the resulting number should be smaller or equal to this number but not larger than this okay so let us find the number here if we take 4 400 into 4 600 will exceed we should take 3 so multiply by 3 3 into 3 9 3 into 4 12 so 2 1 3 into 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13 okay man if you take 4 4 into 4 16 6 1 4 into 4 16 plus 1 17 so 7 1 4 into 4 16 plus 1 17 
this is exceeding 1600 so we should take 3 so take 3 here here and here 1 3 2 9 this number here okay now you subtract so here 5 9 10 10 minus 9 is 1 9 minus 2 is 7 5 minus 3 is 2 1 minus 1 is 0 here we should add these two numbers and write 443 plus 3 is 446 now we should write a number here when I write a number here, this number will become smaller than this. We already have a decimal, so you directly take two zeros here. Now we should write a number here. Condition is whatever number you write here. Here also you should write the same number. And also, when you multiply this number and this number, then the resulting number should be equal to or smaller than this but not larger than this number so let us find the number here if we take 5 4 4 6 5 into 5 see man this is around 5000 if i do into 5 i get 25000 here it is 27000 that's how I selected 5. So 5 into 5, 25. 5, 2. 5, 6, 30 plus 2, 32. So 2, 3. 5, 4, 20 plus 3, 23. 5, 4, 20 plus 2, 22. So we got around 22,000. What if we take 6? We should also multiply by 6. 6 into 6, 36. So 6, 3. 6 into 6, 36 plus 3, 39. So 9, 3. 6 into 4, 24 plus 3, 27. 6, 4, 24 plus 2, 26. So this is close to 27,000. So we should take 6. So 6 here, 6 here, and here is 2, 6, 7, 9, 6. Now here you subtract and it will go on. It is enough if you do up to three decimal places. And the square root of 5 is this one. That is 2.236 so on. This is our answer. Am I clear?